Hi. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a character package inside of UDK using the character that we exported from the previous video into FBX. Now, if you're just joining us with this video and you skipped over the last one because you already have a character and you, you just want to know how to actually get it inside of UDK, that's fine. But you have to make sure that your character, the only thing that exists in your scene is the mesh, the joints, and the animation applied to those joints. There can't be any curves. The joints can't be a, uh, children of curves and, and so on. Just clean up your scene if, it's, if you have not done so already. Um, other than that, let's get started. So first thing we need to do is when you open up UDK, generally this is what you see, content browser. Select import, navigate to wherever you have saved the UDK assets folder. It could be on your desktop, on your well, wherever, on Dropbox, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to select agent default.fbx. And all this is is just the character in bind pose with uh, skeleton, uh, mesh, and a, a key set at you know his bind pose. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And I'm going to name the package GA underscore agent. And it's absolutely important if you're following along with the way that I'm doing this and you're using our scripts that we give you, you must, absolutely must, name everything the exact same way that I'm naming this. And mainly it's because um, everything that we're doing communicates is is part of an, a bigger chain. We have our scripts that are named, you know, a script is looking at two capital GA underscore agent with a capital A. If you made it a lowercase, it would not find that. Yeah. So import type skeletal mesh, good. Import animations, do not check it because we don't want to import those yet. We're going to do that in a minute. Hit OK. And there's a character. So right off the bat, I'm going to save this into a particular spot. So I'm going to right click, save. And we're in the, well, I'm using the May version of UDK. So we're, it automatically takes us to the content section. And there isn't a folder for characters at all. And I just like to create one to keep things organized. So character, leave it named as is, hit save. And now our characters inside of the UDK structure. All right. So now right click on the, the skeletal mesh and we need to create new anim set from mesh and leave the naming as is and hit OK. And what the anim set is, it is actually a container that um, houses all of your animations. You can start off when creating all the basic movement animations for the character, create the anim set, and then add animations to that container as needed. If you have more combats or different types of movement or idols or fillers and things of that nature. Um, one thing to take note with that is that as, you, as you're wanting to add more animations to the container, you cannot take away or add a joint to the character without being slapped in the face with a nice error message that says you've added stuff or taken stuff away can't find this this doesn't this isn't in the rest of them and so on so just don't do it so since we right clicked on the skeletal mesh and said add anim set from mesh we already have um, the an agent default underscore anims in the drop down so what I'm going to do now is go to File, Import FBX Animation, select everything except for default, and hit Open, and I'll all, uh, I'll, I'll all load up. So before we even take a look at these animations, we need to also drop him negative 45. If we were to start off with him in the world right now, which I can't even show you because we don't have the scripts in the right place yet, um, if we were to start off with him in the world right now, he would start off about half a person over the over the uh, the land. So I'm going to come down here to the mesh tab, go to origin, Z, negative 45. Drop some down. So good to go. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the animations. Make sure they're working. This is a great time to kind of just test it out and see how it's how it looks and how it's going, and not. I might as well go ahead and cycle. 
So you're going to see choppy playback of the animation inside of the anim set editor and when we play the game, uh, but that's only because we're recording this. So when you actually do this yourself and how it looks on your machine, you should get smooth playback. We've got that taken care of. Everything's good. He's got his animations and we need to add a physics asset. And we're not going to actually manipulate this physics asset right now. Really, we're just going to close the window because I just need him to have one. And right now, if we press play, he's a crazy, crazy, crazy mess. So that's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now we need to create an anim tree. And we'll go into actually setting an anim tree up in the next video, but I at least just need to get the node created and have it look at our character. So right click in the gray area and select new anim tree. We're going to name it GA underscore anim tree, paying attention to the capitals. Hit OK, and you'll see this pop up. Now right now we just have an anim tree, but it's not looking at our character. So select this, select this node, select the skeletal mesh, go to preview mesh list, hit the radio button, drop down, green arrow, and now it's looking at our character. And we still need to make it look at our anim set. So we come over to the content browser, select the anim set, come over here to the preview anim set list, hit the radio button, drop down, another radio button, and then the green arrow. All right, so now we have our character package set up. Next, we're going, in the next video, we're going to cover where to put the scripts, how to set up an anim tree, and actually watch the character run around in the world and interact with it.